All right, so we are back. Peanut Gallery. We're doing heckling. Right. So there was a very interesting set of events. So obviously most people know that the King of the Mountain match has been a very um, very well-known staple of Slammiversary. Um, and for many years, it's kind of defined the Slammiversary event in general up until 2010 to 2011. Then they started taking it out. So recently, Moose did an interview with a, a new station based out of the Tampa, Florida area talking about the Slammiversary show, um, the not Slammiversary show, Mount. Um, the no place like home before before the pandemic happened there was going to be this uh, TNA event which we had tickets to but we won't no we didn't have tickets to that one that was that was TNA's no place like home that was going to take place in Tampa before Wrestlemania 36 oh that's right I was I was thinking I was thinking past versus present for Ring of Honor Um, so Moose said in an interview at uh, around that point in time that the plan was to bring back the um King of the, the Mountain. King of Mountain match. He never announced who was gonna be a part of the match, but the match was gonna be for the TNA World Heavyweight Championship. It was, okay. Now obviously the pandemic kind of put a monkey wrench into things like it did everything else in our lives back in two thousand twenty. Right. And the match never happened. So I wanna talk about some of the pros and the cons about bringing back a now, possibility now, of now, having the King of the Mountain match. And if the King of the Mountain match were going to happen at this past... Do you want to do do give some context of what a King of the Mountain match yeah, is before I will. this? Go yeah. ahead. And, and, and the only thing I want to say is, if King of the Mountain match happened on Saturday, who would you have in the King of the Mountain match? Okay. So, King of the Mountain match is a reverse ladder match, whereby... You start the match not with a title at the very top, but your goal of the match is to put the title at the top. You um you qualify for this. You qualify for putting the title up there by pinning another competitor. So if you were a participant in the King of the Mountain match, your goals were to number one, pin another individual to the to, count of to three. Qual- to qualify to, to qualify. take the title up there. And then you go out of the ring, you grab the belt, and then you take it up before the other competitors are able to also, if prevent you, are, you from also doing Also, if so. you are pinned, you go into like a penalty box for two minutes. Right. Yes, so there is a penalty box. That is, that is, that is important because that's a big right. portion of the concept of the match. So so it's kind of a it's a reverse ladder match with a sense of kind of uh, capture the flag of, element right. into it. Of all of TNA's matches that they've done, this one is by far my favorite. Oh, yeah. And so I think it's interesting for me to kind of see, like, whether or not King of the Mountain is would be a worthy match to bring back. So, I think I think it would, one hundred percent. I think there are some. I'm 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 going to play devil's advocate here and say that's not okay. The biggest thing for me to not bring it back is because it has the TNA moniker attached to it. And I think okay. that Impact is, I mean, I don't know. Impact and TNA, they're really trying to play this sort of tiddly fucking game going on. They, they play around with it because they obviously have that library. But the thing is, it's not called TNA King of the Mountain. Right. There's no TNA in there. It's called King of the Mountain. Here's where I would say would be a better argument for not bringing it back because of the Jeff Jarrett. Right. Um, tie-in it's not tna it's jeff jarrett oh really okay who was whose nickname in tna was the king of the mountain so if they were gonna bring back this match the concept of the match i love and there are people who don't so so would they would they have to um they'd have to change the name i would i would change the name of it what would you call it would you call it a reverse ladder match no I would, I would, I would make it. I would name it something very similar, maybe something maybe similar to King of the Mountain, um, because I mean I understand why. Because you know, reverse ladder match, you're trying to climb up to the top and get to the top of it. I think it's a really good idea. The personally. Pinnacle of Impact. That'd be a cool one. Yeah. 
the pinnacle of impact. Um, obviously, I did not think about that right off the top of my head. Uh, like I do, because I'm a genius and a scholar. Well, you're a lot better about those um, word vernaculars than I am. Uh, um, so, so, anyways, there are obviously some pros and cons. Can you think of anything else? I mean, you know, we can. I mean, during the pandemic, I understand something like that. I think requires a little bit of a higher stage set and everything like that. Right. So, I mean, I think just in general, they weren't doing a lot of ladder matches because of the fact the Skyway Studio is a little bit lower ceiling. Right. Um, maybe maybe when they bring back um, Bound for Glory, they could do something like that right. because with all of these other companies being involved, there's clearly going to be a uh, much bigger concept. But they did fucking Ultimate right. X totally fine, so I wouldn't to be right. I wouldn't I wouldn't think there would be any issue of doing a and, King of the Mountain and Skyward. Right. And and I I wonder I wonder if the reason that they took out king of the mountain was because of that association with jeff Jarrett. now that you're thinking about it because they took it out what 2010 2011 right that was right. about the time of the hulk hogan era right um, and, then, and then jeff Jarrett was having his personal issues right. as well but he did return and they made the king of the mountain championship they did um after Jarrett had his issues and all of that stuff, and and do you so, think do you think that the King of the Mountain Championship has something to do with the fact that they never continued the King of the Mountain match? No, I don't think so. Yeah. I think the King of the Mountain Championship was just a placeholder secondary belt for them for right more heavyweights because they really wanted to make the X division a X division champion, right. not a no limits, doesn't matter the way, just really good wrestling, high flying thing. Right. Because the majority of the people who held the X division champion were generally going to be smaller, quicker individuals. Right. So I want to, I want to come back to this too, because obviously money in the bank happened this year, which is another multi-man ladder style match. It's not like that happened fucking what? 30 minutes ago. An right. Hour ago. So, but anyways, I want to talk about that because I, th I think that, it's it, there's a market for King of the Mountain a a multi man ladder match to take place. I just I think that there is a market for it. King of the Mountain, if you want me to be totally honest with you, was way ahead of its time. Oh yeah. Um, of all the ideas that they've done, they did reverse battle royals, which is convoluted. This match itself, there's a lot going on with it, but I feel like there was enough structure where it made it work. It made sense. It made sense. It made it work. So because uh, so think about it. If if you're the guy being pinned by the other, it's, 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 your it's, it's, entire goal is to ensure that that person does not get up the ladder. But you're stuck in this cage for two minutes. Right. And um, the thing was is that you are not ineligible to pin somebody else after you are eligible to go up. Right. There. You could sit there and pin somebody 10, 15 times. Right. To put them in that penalty box for two minutes. Um, if it was up to me, I probably wouldn't have the penalty box concept in the first place personally. Because we're already injured enough to where they're not going to get up immediately. That's true. I would have personally set up to match to where hit a big move, hit something big, or do a tap out with like the leg where they couldn't get up for two minutes. Make the penalty not an obvious penalty. Right. So, um, but you know, memorable moments with money or um, with King of the Mountain. It's one of my favorite matches. Yeah. I've always loved King of the Mountain. So I think we're both in agreement that King of the Mountain should kind of be. A it, it should. It should be there, but it shouldn't be called King of the Mountain. Right. All right. So if you were to do a King of the Mountain match today, like like say, well, not today, literally, but like this past weekend. Your King of the Mountain match, because I also think that King of the Mountain match would have been a perfect match for Kenny Omega to lose his Impact title. Right. At, because he does not have he could, to be he could, he, could, he could lose without losing. Right. Um, who, who in your mind, would be the six... Uh, what is it usually five or six people that are in that it match? It was five. Five people. So who would be your five people in that match? Easy. Absolutely easy. Kenny Omega, Sammy mm -hmm. Callahan, W. Morrissey... Eddie Edwards, Moose. I, all right. Well, I think that you just stole the words out of my mouth. <laughs> There's really nobody else that I could think of that's on the Impact roster who, I mean, if you really wanted me to, um, you know, maybe even put somebody else in there, I would take out Edwards and put in Saban. Right. And but see, I think, I think, I think Saban personally, I feel like his moment should be one-on-one. -on -one. Right. Um, that's just me, and that's why I would say 
give the belt to like a Callahan or a Moose where they face Edwards at Bound for Glory and do it that way. That's how you make right. that shit majestic again. But um, the thing is, is that all of these people represent not only a different style, but they have every right to say that they are the number one contender yeah. for this um, specific champion. Um, with Callahan being like that de facto savior, big time player, because really right. Callahan really did save a big portion of oh, this yeah. division when it was at its lowest. Um, with um, either Edwards or Saban, those are your workhorse wrestlers who really um, epitomize what impact is. Moose was like that one guy who just can't get there, and I feel like he should have gotten there. Um, with W. Morrissey, future. He is the future mm -hmm. of the company in Omega because he is the current champion. Um. There is not really anybody else that I could theoretically replace Morrissey, Moose, or Callahan with. No. I just, I can't see it. And I, I, I'm going to wholeheartedly agree with you on that. But, um, you know, other than that, I just thought it was interesting because they were going to bring it back. Pandemic happened. Never happened. Now, but now, now here, here's the question. With everything opening back up and having crowds back and... Obviously, with the um, spa partnerships with some of the bigger companies like AEW and AAA, do you believe we will see this match come back in some way, shape, or form? Yes, but I don't know how. I don't know what the stipulation would be, and I don't know why. Okay. I need to know what the stipulation well, now, is first. Well, now when we go into wrestling lesson, I might be able to answer that question so we'll get to that once we come back from our break absolutely but before we go into it i want to leave an open-ended question for anybody who's listening to this in the comments wherever you're watching this i want to hear from you do you believe the king of the mountain match should come back who would be your participants when would it be and what would it be for yep so leave those down below and when we come back we're going to talk about the history of Slammiversary. 